I go. Okay, I got the metal detector on. I'm just gonna go right down to the bottom and start looking. How many feet of visibility do you have? Um, probably about five feet. That's not good. Okay, but well, we'll, we'll work with that. What I can clearly see is a thick layer of silt and seagrass covering the sunken city. The bottom. As I explore, I see hints of rubble, which makes sense given the violent destruction of Port Royal. Based on eyewitness accounts, we have a sense of the last terrifying moments of this entombed city. When the earthquake struck, the sandy ground Port Royal was built on vibrated so intensely that it essentially liquefied. The resulting quicksand-like sludge swallowed houses and their occupants whole. Experts today believe that some of the remains of those who perished are still sealed up in the submerged buildings, making the city kind of a pirate-era Pompeii. tech tools uncovered a new clue in the hunt for Morgan's missing millions. I got something. Right underneath the sea ocean. That guy's not moving. I gotta look for something else. That could be our gold, Rob. And if you let a sea urchin stop us from finding that. Well, have you seen any sea urchins? Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. 